Well, good morning. Today is Tuesday, April 25th, and I was just getting ready to go for my walk, and it's starting to rain. Um, it kind of looks like it's going to just be a spitty kind of rain, so I can walk in that, but who's to know? Um, Freedom on a Budget tagged me to do um, 30 random facts about myself, so I'll probably do that sometime today. I don't know that there's that, that much random stuff that you don't know about me, but um, I'll do that video today and get that posted sometime. And other than that, I have no no plans. Uh, it's officially spring because my lawn guy was here today putting the fertilizer on the lawn, you know, the first treatment for the season. And I guess I was destined to get up before 9 o'clock this morning because I had a wrong number. I had my sister-in-law call me to want to talk about Dancing with the Stars. And my sister called me wanted to borrow my car, Mary. She was in an accident and she wasn't hurt or anything. But it was it was so odd because she was driving to work and my daughter-in-law, Shannon, was driving to work. And the first car stopped for the light, then Shannon stopped for the light. No, wait a minute, I take that back. The first car stopped for the light, then Mary stopped for the light, and then Shannon was right behind Mary's, you know, random, I couldn't believe it. And then another guy came and didn't stop for the light, hit Shannon, Shannon hit Mary, Mary hit the car in front of her. So when they got out of the cars, when they realized that they were right behind each other, small world. So anyway, Mary's bringing her car in to get fixed on Monday, so she's going to use my car for a couple days. And I have to fix Sophia up. Not next week, but the following week from school. So I have a busy month coming up ahead. And, you know, as soon as you're on a rocker, you got to rock. Corinne, I see you in your wheelchair sliding back and forth, sliding back and forth. <laughs> this is what I'm doing in my wheelchair. It's not my wheelchair. In my uh, rocking chair. So um, it's a little chilly out here. It's 53, but it's a, it's a chilly 53. So I think I'm going to put a jacket on before I leave for my walk. I am going to still walk. It's not raining that hard. It's just like spitting. I think I better put some covers on my furniture out here before, in case it does rain, rain, because I don't want them to get all mildewy. So, um, let's go for a walk. All right, I'm back for my walk. I don't know if you can tell, but it's raining. Well, it's not really raining. It's spitting right now, but it was sprinkling for a little bit, so I did get a little damp. But, you know, I finished it. I walked 2.1. took me about 46 minutes. Um, Christy called me while I was walking, so I walked with her for a bit. So we've made it a little more enjoyable. So I'm gonna. I was trying to eat my breakfast every day before 11, but um, it's almost 11:45. So I'm gonna go ahead and have a couple glasses of water, and then I'm gonna eat my breakfast before noon, and then I'll take my shower after that. Not that you needed to know that, but I like to share. <laughs> As Denise says, I share too much. I was trying so hard to eat before 12, but then my girlfriend that I used to work with called me and I got talking with her on the phone. So it's 12 o'clock, that's when I'm eating now. Um, here's my breakfast. I know that meat doesn't look that great, but you know, I don't like throwing anything away and there was about an ounce of meat left and so I'm gonna have that this morning. So as usual, I started my day with a prayer. I drank 24 ounces of water so far. I've walked 6,542 steps. I thought this, a quote was so appropriate. We have a birthday coming up this week. Actually two, Aaron's and David's, but we're only doing Aaron's this week. And so my quote is, an optimist is someone who figured out that taking a step backwards after taking a step forward isn't a disaster. It's more like a cha-cha-cha. So anyway, I was planning on eating at 1150, but the phone rang. So I have an egg for two points, a one ounce of ground sirloin for one point, my grapefruit, tomato, tea and water is zero. So I have three points for my breakfast. I have 38 points for the whole day. Okay, we got a screen repaired and we're picking it up. And as you can see on the car, it's the Anchor Bay glass and screen place. So on our way home, well, on our way to go pick up David from school. Well, I have to pick Alyssa up from school at four o'clock. So um, I better get moving here. Um, I'm going to have a cup of tea, a glass of water, a half a sandwich, some ra uh, not raspberries, grapes, and a cup of the chili. So um, I have two ounces of turkey for one point, one ounce of mozzarella cheese for two points, one slice of whole wheat bread for three points, the tomato, lettuce, tea, and water, and um, the boar's head 
mustard for zero, a cup of chili for five points, and my grapes are zero, so I have an 11 point lunch. Okay, time for dinner. I'm gonna have some iced tea and a glass of water, a pork chop, a baked potato with some broccoli and carrots. Um, my four ounces of pork chop is four points, one baked potato is five points, one tablespoon of whipped butter is three points, two tablespoons of sour cream is three points, I have a quarter ounce of cheese is one point, my broccoli, carrots, tea, and water is zero, so it comes to 16 points, so I've used 30 points for the day. I, I am allowed 38. And I'll show you the finished product. This is all that's left of the chili. Um, it's each serving is a one cup size, and I'm going to freeze those. And um, Cindy had a couple bowls, David had a couple bowls, Jim had a bowl, and I had a bowl. I had a cup for my lunch. So as you can see, it does make quite a bit. So um, gonna go eat now. Okay, Gina Pearson and I are having a contest between each other to see who can lose the most weight in a week. So on Saturday, I weighed 271.5. I had gained 2.8. So um, I'm going to weigh this Saturday and post my results. Gina weighed today, and she's going to post her results next Tuesday. Um, I'll put a link for her channel down below. Uh, check out her video. Well, the chili was a big hit. Jim liked it until he found out it was a Weight Watchers chili. He ate a whole big bowl. It was like a big bowl. It was probably like a two-cup bowl, and he ate the whole thing. And then I said, well, how'd you like the chili? And he said, yeah, it was okay. And I go, yeah, it's a Weight Watch one. He said, well, I really didn't like it that much. I knew he really liked it, but he didn't want to say it. And then Cindy came by to help David with his algebra homework, because I don't know anything about algebra. And uh, so she had two bowls. and But she, she put cheese and sour cream on it. Oh, how I would have liked to do that, too. But I saved my sour cream for my dinner. And then, oh, excuse me, burping up. Um, David had a couple bowls of chili, too. And then I had a bowl for my um, lunch. And I put in the freezer, I think, four or five, maybe five, maybe six of them. So I have them in there. Um, my plan yesterday was to um, freeze the meat for the hamburger. And then I ended up, I had Cindy and Alyssa over for dinner. And so I didn't have any meat left over. So... But uh, tomorrow I'm going to meet Bertie for a swim, and uh, I'm going to try to walk in the afternoon. I have to tell you that Gina Pearson was kind of concerned about me because she thinks I'm kind of down on my, because uh, we text back and forth. I have a couple friends that I made through YouTube that, um, you know, I have their phone numbers and I call them and I talk to them. But um, I, uh, I, I just... I'm always hungry now that I'm eating so many meals, and I know that the, my leader said that's supposed to be what happens, but I was, I'm was i hungrier now when I'm eating more food than I was, when I, if it makes any sense, than when I wasn't eating that much food. I ate a lot at one time, I realized that, so eating the smaller meals spread over the time, I'm hoping it's going to help, but I'm not getting on the scale because I'm afraid I'm going to jinx myself. I'll get on it and see that I'm not losing, and then I'll, I'll just you know, stop doing it. And I had promised my leader that I'd give it a week's try. And, and I'm true to my word. If I give you my word on something, I'm going to stick to it. So um, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm so behind on watching my videos. I'm, um, I've just been exceptionally busy lately, not to make excuses or anything. I do want to make a point of every day answering my comments because um, I, that's the way I stay in contact with you guys. And um, I do appreciate your comments. And You've been very helpful and supportive, and I really appreciate them. I really do. And I think the least I can do is take a little bit of time out each day and answer the comments. But um, if you have any questions for me, you know, like I, I did a tag that I'm going to put up tomorrow. Um, and I hope I, I didn't, with my uh, recipe, I hope I didn't offend anybody. I just, I didn't want to take credit for a recipe that really wasn't mine. And I didn't know how to phrase the... Denise always did that, you know, she came up with the snappy phrases and stuff, and I, you know, I just, I just wanted you to know that it wasn't my recipe, but, uh, oh well. So anyway, um, I'm gonna go get my pajamas on, somebody's cutting their lawn right now, which is better than I guess you do it at night, but, um, and, uh, get on with the rest of the evening, so I will see you guys tomorrow.